my goodness oh my god y'all oh my god oh my god your girl is injured i'm injured and i'm driving to urgent care guys i was supposed to be going to my little nine to fives like i ain't got no nine to five <laughs> i was supposed to be going to work and i injured myself on the way out leaving out with the girls i picked taylor up and i picked my bag up like i do every morning but the way i turned with her the way i just picked her up because she is heavy she's very heavy um a pain shot from my chest to my back and it hurt when I breathe and I, I can't I just can't today so I'm going to urgent care and I'm taking you guys with me I did stop to get a coffee on the way um after I got the girls from school you know what I wasn't no it wasn't nothing for me to like I ain't have to lift nothing to go get no coffee okay like mind your business mind your business I got coffee if I want to but anyway I did tell y'all when the coffee is real good that what a lot of ice left because I've been undowned the damn drink in 2.2. So I downed the drink in 2.2. Um, it was awesome. It was great. I have a burst of energy, but I'm still in pain, so I can't really do much. Um, just trying to take that as a sign from God. Like, why, why did I get hurt today? Huh? Why do I have to miss today? Hmm. Yesterday, I learned so much. You know, I, I want to do like a channel revamp and all this stuff. So maybe this is my time to use this as an opportunity to do that. So I'm going to go to Urgent Care and see what they say. And then I'm going to go home and I'm going to get some rest. Um, or whatever. I don't know what's going on with me. I might need to be going to CVS or Walgreens to pick up a prescription. That's what I might need to be doing because... I am not. Mm -mm, I can't be hurt. I can't be hurt. I do everything at home. And my kids don't care if there's something wrong with me. So I need this fixed right now. I need to be fixed. I need to be fixed. And I'm going to be fixed. Um, I got my hair tied down because I just didn't feel like dealing with it this morning. <sighs> I did not feel like dealing with it this morning. And this is just what it is today. I'm not feeling good i'm tired as hell as always i gotta get up early and fight with kids every morning i gotta fight with my kids i fought with milani every morning i fight with, i'm gonna put milani in bed at seven i told her today you want to bed at seven i just gotta buckle down i be tired i really gotta buckle down they're getting in the bed early i don't want taylor in the bed too too early because taylor do what she gotta do she go to bed and she get up in the morning the only thing she don't do is like if I'm trying to get her dressed, she will fight me or whatever. She don't feel like it. She'll kick the shit out of me. But that's whether she got sleep or not. It just depends on her mood. But Milani never wants to get up. Milani's the last one to get up and the last one to go to bed every night. So I gotta buckle down with Milani. I don't really gotta buckle down with Bella, but I gotta buckle down with Milani. So mm -hmm. yep, yep, yep. That's what I'm gonna do. Starting today. I'm um, seeing that I I'm not going to work. I will. I did take some chicken out last night. What exit am I getting off of? Cause I need to. Um, <coughs> I took chicken out last night, so it should be thawed for me to do something with it, like season it or whatever, fry it up before they come home and make their meals. So I ain't really got to do much. And then I could get them in the sub. They could eat at 5, 5.30, get them in the tub, 6, 6.30. Because I'm just, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. I'm trying to figure out how to do this schedule thing. And a lot of it is me procrastinating. Like, I'll sit around because I just got home from work. Or I just got home from running errands. Or, and I'm just tired. And I'll sit around and not be like this. And I got to constantly be like this. So, sometimes that, that gets me in trouble. When I got to constantly be on the go and I'd be like, hold on, wait a minute, slow down, let's take a break, let's talk about this. <laughs> when I'm on that type of time, that's when I fall behind. So. Yeah, but we're going to go to urgent care and see what they say. This urgent care is pretty quick. I used to bring the kids here, but I stopped because they don't really do much for my kids. So, But I'm going to continue to go there because they're pretty like in and out. You're in and out. Um, so I don't have to spend my entire day at the emergency room. 
just give me my medicine, give me my pain and stuff and let me go, okay? Let me go, because then Walgreens is gonna take forever to fill the goddamn prescription, so. It's just a hassle. I don't like getting hurt. I don't. But I just wanted to update you guys, pick up the camera, um, and yeah. Yeah, I've been back up when I get into urgent care because I'm just not with it. I can't believe this happened to me. I was scratching my forehead. Yeah, I don't know what the hell be going on with me. But listen, I got a lot of little motivation. Okay. I got a lot of little motivation signs on my face. Okay, so my favorite car is next to me. I ain't going to say it's my dream car because it's not really a dream. I feel like I can make this happen. So it's not really a dream. But it's an Audi Q7. I want an Audi Q7 so bad. It's a seven-seater. And it's just beautiful. I'm going to show you all a little whiff of it. Um, but if this ain't a sign, like, if these ain't signs, I'm just trying to take these signs in, okay? I'm feeling real good. Even though I'm going through the things that I'm going through, I'm feeling real good. Okay, let me show you the car. Can't really see it too well, but this shit is beautiful, Okay. I ain't trying to be in nobody's shit, but it's beautiful. Believe me when I say that I'm in fucking pain because I done left my whole bag in a car. I took my medical card out. I took my medical card out the um, bag and my ID out the bag. I'm not carrying that bag. I can't carry that bag. You better carry this damn phone, okay? I think I'm going to go get me some tripods this week so I can work on my content. But yeah, we have healthcare. What? All right, they just waited me and took my vitals. So I'm waiting for the doctor to come in. I'll keep you guys posted. I'm in too much pain. I'm so miserable, y'all. I'm so miserable. because I'm in so much pain. I just did my x-rays and I just did my AKG, AKG, E, whatever, E-T, E-K-G. So I'm just waiting for the results and then I should be, hold on. And then I should be out of here. All right, guys, I got taken out of work. I can't work for this whole week. So I'm going, well, my prescription, I have a prescription being sent over to the pharmacy. And I know that it's not there. Like I know that it's not fucking gonna be there because Walgreens always does this. Um, oh shit, I need to go to the bank. I need to withdraw like a couple of dollars because I do need to um I'm so mad I don't have a debit card. I need to order a tripod, my two tripods and my ring light and stuff. I need it. I need it now. Um or I'm gonna say Walmart. I think Walmart has these things, but I can't physically go to Walmart today. Um I'm going home. I'm going home and I'm going to make me some breakfast and I'm going to, I got to just take a day. I can't even vlog today. I can't do nothing. I got to take a day to myself. Uh, oh, 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 maybe like edit and do all the other stuff that I need to do on my channel and some other stuff that I need to work on, but I'm going to have to work from, from the bed and my kids left my house a damn disaster this morning. So 
I'm just gonna try not to even look at that and just go on, go on, go lay down, cause. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I can't do nothing today. If it's dishes in the sink, the dishes gotta stay in the sink. I can't do anything today. I just can't. I hate when I I hate when I'm injured. I just hate it because I just can't do anything. But God has a way of sitting your behind down. He really do. And I guess I got to sit down. Even though I don't want to sit down, I have to sit down. Oh, they give you snacks too. They give you snacks. Funny story. Milani likes to go there because she gets snacks. She likes to go to urgent care. I'm trying to think. I'm just trying to think. Should I take myself home or I'm going home. I'm in a lot of pain. I at least need to take something. And the muscle relaxer that he um, prescribed to me makes me sleepy. So I don't even know how I'm about to do this with kids. Y'all not going to believe this shit right here. Is y'all ready for this shit right here? Is y'all ready for this shit right here? Y'all not going to believe this shit right here. I got literally down the street. I think as soon as I recorded my last clip with y'all and turned the camera off, the school was calling me. <laughs> Is y'all fucking ready for this? Is y'all ready? Taylor in the background screaming. The nurse is calling. So Taylor keep grabbing her ears. She's not being herself or whatever. She doesn't have a temperature. Um or anything like that but she's pulling her ears like they hurt they want me to come get her so I said um okay I'll come get her now I was going home to relax and put the heat and pad on my back honey I was gonna put the the heat and pad on my back okay I called my baby father. I told him what the circumstances was. Um, the only thing is, he can't say, I'll go get Taylor for you or whatever because Taylor ain't having it. So he already know I'm not going to beat him down about not going to pick her up because he already know it's, Taylor is not going to fuck with him today. Um, but when I come to Taylor, nobody can really like help me with Taylor because Taylor only wants me. But the same little girl that injured me is the same little girl that I got to go pick up. I wanted to go home and relax and do my um, <clears throat> YouTube stuff and just do some other stuff and fill out some applications. And you know, when kids are in the way, you can't do those things. Like, you can't do those things. So now I've been taken out of work for a week. So I'm like, okay, I can do some stuff no I can't do no stuff because I gotta deal with Taylor and I gotta pick Milani up too because I, val I valet my kids I pick them up I drive them back and forth to school so I'm not just picking Taylor up and not taking Milani Milani has to go too because who's coming back to get Milani so yeah I don't know these type of things just bum me out seriously because it's like what the fuck like Am I supposed to be happy? Like, am I supposed to really just be truly just walking around here happy? Like, I'm already struggling. I'm already in a bad financial situation. And this is why. This is exactly why. This shit right here that you're seeing today is why. Okay? It's just hard when you have multiple kids. I mean, I prefer to work at night because shit like this happens. And I know stuff like this happens during the day. These are the things I want to be able to be there, you know, for my kids for. And not have to feel like I have to put a job before my kids or um, I'm going to lose money now. Like, I don't like that feeling of, oh, I'm going to lose money and I'm not going to be able to pay what I need to pay. Like, your kids come before that. You, I come before that. Like, what happened to me comes before that. 
but I'm kind of scared for today because I'm in a lot of pain and I, I wanted a couple of hours just to put the heat and pad on me and relax and now I have to shift my attention to my child and take it off me as always as always you know I like to call myself an unwatered flower because that's what I am I don't pour into myself because I can't every time I think I'm about to pour into myself the universe shows me that I'm not I'm here to take care of my kids I'm not here to do anything for myself like and I don't like feeling like that but this is just the reality of motherhood like this shit is not a game and I, I I do this by myself you know I, I do allow my kids father what's going on here I do allow my kids father to help me to an extent because it's only so much he could do yeah I feel like he should be doing more but we ain't there yet okay like we just not there yet hopefully we'll get there but we're not there yet so a lot of shit a lot of the shit really is on me like a lot of stuff is on me a lot of my stuff is on me like I don't expect nobody to take care of me you know I gotta take care of me and when I'm not even in position to take care of me it just sucks because like again like what the fuck you know that's all I can say is just what the fuck I don't, I don't even know I don't even know how to feel like I don't even know how I'm about to get that little girl up the stairs I think I'm gonna go in the front entrance of my house because it's no way that I could do the back the double steps. I, it's just no way I could do it. I mean, it's a few steps in the front, and then most of the steps is inside of the house, so that's what makes it easier. I can let Taylor walk up those steps. I can't let her walk up our dirty porch steps because. I'm going to have to give her a bath when I get inside. But y'all just pray for me because I don't even know how today is going to go. I was sitting there talking about getting um, in bed earlier and doing this and doing that. And I really need to find a way to do what I got to do because it seemed like my I'm going to be consumed with my kids. I don't have a breakaway from my kids. They're loud. Their iPads are loud. They're nasty. They're always tearing up my house like... There's no breakaway from that. So I need to figure out how I'm going to do what I'm going to do while they are there. Because obviously they're not going nowhere. They're not going nowhere. I'm not that mom that get them breaks and don't have a kid in my ear. Like, And I see other moms is okay with that. So I need to learn to be okay with it too. You know, but sometimes I really feel overstimulated and I feel like I can't even really think. I feel like I can't even think properly when I have all that noise in my ear, like all that going, like, oh my God, just give me a minute. And then when I'm getting a minute, I'm tired because I done drained myself with these fucking kids. So no matter how much pain I'm in, I'm just going to boss up and I'm going to eat this shit. I don't know if I could take my muscle relaxers. I probably have my kid's father go pick that up for me. I don't, I'm out of Q7 again on the highway. I don't know if I could take my muscle relaxers because they're going to make me tired and I Taylor interrupts me at night when I'm sleeping. That's another thing. She's going to want to sleep with me. I mean, what the fuck? Um, but they're going to be in bed at 7. I'm buckling down. They're coming home early, so I got an early week to, I got an early start to do this shit. I'm buckling down um, because I'm not going to bed late today. I'm about to make a list of what I need to do. I already started doing little things that I need to take care of, but I'm about to make my little list of what I need to do to take care of um, things I need to take care of this week and get to it. I, I really need to, it starts today with just making the list, okay? I'm just following that list. That's all I could do today. That's it. I just put the list together and go from there. I'll pick back up with you guys when I get the kids. I'm at the school, so I'm not about to be showing y'all what school my kids go to. No, let me stop. Just a few weirdos in the world, so I just can't do it. Can't do it. Hi, I'm here to pick up Taylor and Milani. Okay. 
All right, I got the girls in the car. Um, Milani eating her lunch because it's lunchtime. I didn't get Taylor at lunch because Taylor, she not really going to eat that. Um, even though it's chicken nuggets, but I... Taylor seems okay. She seems maybe a little upset. I, she's not warm or anything, but when I get home, oh God, my chest hurt. When I get home, I'm gonna call her teacher and ask what led up to her covering her ears and crying like that. Cause maybe she got upset and got worked up. Sometimes she gets like that when she's throwing a tantrum. Cause um, I don't see any pain or anything. I'm gonna monitor her for the day, but I don't see that there was any pain, but Taylor, you know, she don't talk, so they don't know. And they don't want to, like, assume. But what led up to the ear cover? And that's what I need to know. What happened? What was going on? Was she transitioning? Like, what? What? Okay? I'm not going to be running up here to pick her up. I don't feel like she's sick. I feel like she... Because when I came to the school, she was back in her classroom. I thought I was picking her up from the nurse's office. She was back in her classroom. And, and the para said that she was calm she's okay now but at the moment you know it kind of like scared them okay well nobody was gonna call me tell me she calmed down the fuck like i could have been at home just doing me for me like i just left urgent care myself so i'm gonna play it by ear and i don't i don't think that i'm keeping them home i don't because i don't even think anything is wrong but like i said i'll let you guys know um she just looks more upset than sick. I hate putting my baby in school. I swear I do. I wish I had big money. Cause she would, she's only three. She wouldn't be going to school until she was five. Just like everybody else. And you know what? Maybe, maybe I'll, maybe. If, if, if things shift for me, she could stay her behind home and go to her little ABA programs and you know, she could go on her dad's insurance. They could go on their dad's insurance to where she could get good little programs and stuff and speech and all of that. Cause I ain't got, I don't, I don't know y'all. I don't know how I'm feeling. When you have a, um, a child that has a disability and you gotta just ship them off in school, it's not a good feeling. And, and people who care don't have a disability, please don't say anything to me. Please, just don't even say anything to me. I'll see you guys when I get home. I'm irritated as fuck right now. Not with my kids, but with, with how y'all called me and said something was wrong with my child. That's not wrong with my child. My house sounds like a fucking daycare. Can you hear it? Hi, Cece. That's not Cece. I know. So who are you saying hi to? Uh, so we post a video. Oh, when I post a video, you want me to say hi to, you want to say hi to Cece? Okay, Cece, if you're watching this, Milani says hi. I don't know why she's thinking about you. She must know you had your baby, so. <laughs> so y'all didn't say anything about you. She just was like, I want to say hi to Cece. Um, but um, the lighting is awesome here. Taylor's loud ass iPad is going to be the death of me. I hope I don't get copyrighted. I'm going to have to just keep clipping this and cutting it. But Taylor's fine. Okay, I'm about to call the school in a little while because I'm injured. I'm in pain. I'm going to see if their dad can bring me the heat patches that I stick to my body because there's no way in hell I could lay in bed with a heating pad on with these kids. The show must go on. Got to take my pain medication and just keep the pain patch on me. So I'm going to see if he can get me some of those today. And I'm calling the school because I don't appreciate this. I just left urgent care and y'all telling me my daughter. I feel like Taylor got annoyed or Taylor got upset because Taylor is fine. I'm going to show you guys her in a minute. She's fine and they're home and they're in my way. So it's just like, no, I'm not too happy about this right now. Hi, say hi, Taylor. Does Taylor look like she has an ear infection to y'all? No. So I don't know. So she was actually all that. She didn't aggro because she missed me. It was something else. I just want to know what led up to the aggravation. That's all. Because she loves me to death, but even when she aggravated with me, she still gets mad. But this loud ass iPad until all day, I can't deal with this shit right now. I really just can't deal with this shit. I can't, like, I can't even focus. I just made a phone call and I, I couldn't even hear myself leave a voicemail. Like, I'm not doing this. They're going to school tomorrow. My days that I got taken out of work, I'm going to utilize them and do what I need to do. Today, I'm not doing anything. Cool. Like, I'll pick their pajamas out. 
I'll pick their school clothes out for tomorrow. I'll cook dinner early. I'll get them in bed early. I'm not going to do anything else. But other than that, tomorrow and Thursday and Friday, I'm going to handle my business. So I'm going to change my clothes, um, put on something more comfortable, and I'm just going to chill. I'm about to get my laptop. I'm about to do my thing. And I'm going to end this video here. I'll keep y'all updated with the bullshit that the school, whatever excuse they use or whatever. And I love that school and I love them, but come on now. This doesn't make any sense. Um, what if I had a real job? You guys think you're going to keep calling me when you can't handle Taylor? Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you know every time I post a video, the baby is coming with the iPad. I got to go.